It is considered one of the most significant archaeological discoveries in the Western Hemisphere, rewriting history books about when humans first came to the Americas. This is called the Galt Site, and it is found right here in Texas. Our Robbie Owens tonight takes you there. On an unremarkable stretch of roadway, surrounded by quarries just north of Austin. There's only a handful of sites like this one. You'll find Galt, an archeological site so significant that it's rewriting textbooks and challenging what experts thought they knew about the peopling of the Americas. It's a place that, um, that has been known and used by indigenous people for tens of thousands of years. Professor Mike Adler is an archaeologist and chairs SMU's anthropology department. He too is eager to see what is uncovered about the earliest humans in the Americas, called the Clovis culture. Experts put them in what is now Texas about 13,000 years ago. The findings at Galt predate even that. What did they eat? What were they doing? Um, people were here, and people were here very early, much earlier than we used to think. That's exciting. Uh, so we can expose the mammoth mandible. Which... There's, there's more mystery under that dirt. And it's a mystery that most likely would have remained buried were it not for the perseverance of UT Austin archaeologist Dr. Mike Collins. He had faith, uh, and then to put his own um, resources into it, again, not, not many colleagues would do that. So it took a unique person to help to save a unique site. And I'd never been on a dig with that many artifacts in, in one unit. Welcome to Galt. The story of Galt and how Collins fought to save it. This local site has influenced our understanding of the big human history. Are shared in a new independent film called The Stones Are Speaking. Dallas's Olive Talley wrote, directed, and produced. The Galt site now is um, what it always has been. It's a bucolic little pasture along Buttermilk Creek in central Texas. If you walked out there today, and I hope your viewers will someday, you will wonder, really, how, how could this place be so extraordinary when it looks so ordinary? And that was the question, one of the questions that drove me. The stones are speaking. Mm -hmm. The film has generated new interest in the site and in exploring how the earliest Texans, yes, even before there was a Texas, lived and survived. That there were these persistent places that people knew depended upon, they knew when they could go there, what would be available, when the deer would show up, and so you had this predictability that humans crave. We don't like unpredictability. And is that also part of what fascinates scientists about finding places like Galt? Because you want to know how people survive. Yes, yeah, and you know, in some cases they didn't. And then you want to find out what happened. What life might have been like 15,000 years ago. After Collins purchased the site, he donated it so that it could be preserved for future scientists. The, the tour starts here, but at the bottom of the hill we have uh, restrooms and water. The site is also open for monthly tours. Pretty much all of the archaeology happens down in the valley itself. We've had a couple of months ago, we had two ladies that were visiting a friend in San Marcos and they heard about it and they were from Pacifica, California, you know. So people are coming from all over. And they're like, we had no idea, you know. And it is one of the most important sites in the Americas. Al Kaufman says he has always been interested in archaeology and came out with a group from Austin. Well, I learned some things. I mean, it's, it's fun to be, you know, on the ground and see stuff. Why does this matter? Why should we want to know more about the early people here? Because history tells us who we are. And without understanding that, we provide a better understanding of who we are. The Galt site is significant in part just because of the sheer magnitude of what was found here. Just 3% of the site has been excavated, but scientists uncovered more than two and a half million Clovis artifacts. It's since been covered to protect it, but the good news for those who want to preserve this space is that it's all still here.
this was a place where there were trade routes through Texas for thousands of years. Elizabeth Collins is a geophysicist. Yeah, I started coming out here when I was nine. With an interest in archaeology, how could she not? She's also Mike Collins' granddaughter. And he's never talking down to you. He's just sharing what he knows, and he's excited about it. And that always helps bring out the excitement in other people to learn and to see all of these amazing things. How does it make you feel to, to be a part of bringing groups through here to, to experience this? I am so proud. You know, this, this is the biggest part of his legacy, and I am honored to be able to be a part of it because I've seen a lot of it, and I want other people to see it too. <laughs> I just couldn't leave its future to chance. In her film, Tally shares that part of what drove her to document the Galt story is that Collins can no longer share it for himself. He was diagnosed with Alzheimer's in 2022. Because, Robbie, if we don't have people like this in our society, if we don't have people who are driven to make a difference, what do we have? It's something to be proud of for so many reasons. First, that, that it's unique, that it's in Texas, that it's so old, but also, um, it's a story of potential harm, potential loss, and in the end, triumph. Mike Collins got it done um, uh, and, you know, and saved this place. And that's a big deal. That's a really big deal. Robbie Owens, CBS News, Texas.